is good everybody welcome back to another money and toys video today we're back with a brand new wwe ultimate edition review on the wwe fan takeover ultimate edition Shawn michaels figure now this is our second figure of Shawn michaels in the wwe ultimate edition line very excited for this one i think this one is kind of head and shoulders above his first one of course we won't know until we crack him out but i'm definitely a bigger fan of this gear i love the way the gear looks in the red black and white to match the rest of the packaging i think it looks really uniform it looks really clean. Now the Survivor Series 1995 gear did win the vote and I think it looks great. I'm really excited to see what it looks like out of the packaging of course but here's the front viewing window. Figure looks really good man. Of course I had to get my men on card set and then I do have the one to unbox here today for you guys but Shawn Michaels across the top. Ultimate Edition logo in silver and black down here looking really good. Mattel logo right there. On the side you get a beautiful image of Shawn there. Got the Fan Takeover logo here and an Ultimate Edition logo at the top. On the back you get a shot of the figure. Shawn Michaels across the side. Fan takeover logo there. Lots of logos right here for some weird reason. And then you get a great shot of Sean here. But you'll notice there's no fan takeover voting or anything like that. Not a lot of information at all. It's all just logos and stuff. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's because this is the UK version. I think this is the UK version. On the side you got the Ultimate Edition logo and then Sean Michaels. The reason I say it's the UK version is because I got it from Amazon.uk or the, you know, the UK store of Amazon because the USA has been sold out or it has been up. I don't think you've been able to order, but I saw somebody post it up from the UK. I dropped in there, got my two copies. It was a little bit more because of shipping. I think it ended up being like $90 ship or two of the Shawn Michaels. I thought that was a pretty good deal there, considering what this figure could go for, I guess, in the future, but I'm excited to finally have this figure in hand. Feel like we've been waiting forever, and it's kind of insane because I pre-ordered the Hogan Amazon exclusive fan takeover over a year ago, and it says it's supposed to be here in August finally. Like, I thought that date was wrong time and time. It still hasn't gotten here, but this Sean beat it and so that that's just crazy that's one of those you know one of those things that happens but here is Shawn Michaels man cannot wait to crack him open could this be the best Shawn Michaels action figure ever made we're gonna find out together man so with that being said let's crack him out of his packaging and find out if he is indeed a sexy boy so here's the Heartbreak Kid out of his packaging, and I am liking what I'm seeing so far, man. Really enjoying the figure thus far. I think the colors really pop off nicely. Again, man, in package, man, it just matches so well. It's so nice. You guys can even tell by this angle right here. It's the figure without gripe, though. We'll have to dive into that and see. But since he is all by himself today, we are going to dive into Shawn Michaels' accessories first. Then we will take a closer look at Shawn Michaels himself, do some comparisons, and see if this figure really has what we think it has. So let's go ahead, get into his accessories, and we'll break the rest of the figure down. So getting into Shawn Michaels accessories, you come with a plethora of them, of course, because it is an Ultimate Edition. You guys know how they roll. They tend to always give us a pretty decent amount of accessories, usually a championship belt, some cloth goods, some interchangeable heads. You got to live up to that $32 to $35, sometimes even $40 price point sometimes nowadays. But let's dive into the cloth goods immediately because that's where the money is usually made. Now, these entrance pants are very, very similar to his last Ultimate Edition. However, I think they took a step back. I think they really did because on his last Ultimate Edition, this was all sculpted. This was all like sculpted, right? It had like a sculpted belt and a sculpted belt buckle and it wrapped around all nice. This is just cloth, so I don't think it really captures the same aura of it, you know what I mean? However, these are cloth nice pants and I love the zebra stripes. I think they look really good. You guys know MDT is all about it. It's just zebra stripes so these look really, really good. I, I like the red, I like the black, I like the white. The white's kind of like trying to glare or something like that, but it still looks overall good. I really like it. These are great. They fit the figure well, as you guys will see at a later time. These are really great. I'm never going to complain about cloth accessories, but I got to at least, you know, I got to mention that right there. This was sculpted last time, so I don't know why they couldn't do that again. I know it had more stuff going on with it, I think, but they already had the technology. I don't know why you wouldn't just mold that again. I don't know. Next up, you have his vest, which is not the same as his last vest because, you know, usually these vests are different, but it looks like the source material. You have your white stripes going through. It does buckle or clasp in the front here. Again, for a vest, I will not fight them. You know, you got your chain mail or chain metal going right there. You got buckles and, and different clasps and stuff and little metal rings and all that stuff going on. It looks really good. I like the color of it. It fits the figure well. Not much to complain about. I don't think it needed cloth. I think you could get away with molding this on. Would it have been cool to see cloth? Ab absolutely. But I still think this is cool and it matches together with the pants real nice. Psych, the pants are full cloth. There's no rubber on them. Could have molded that on. Just remember. We also have his hat accessory, which does fit the figure heads very well, I'd say. And I think it actually makes 
makes him look more like Shawn Michaels when you put the hat on? Like, am I tripping? I feel like that's, I don't feel like that's ridiculous. I don't think it's ridiculous to say that. So I like the way the hat looks. I like the colors of it. Like, look at that. That looks like Shawn Michaels, especially from the side. So I enjoy the hat. Now for head sculpts, this is the yelling expression, which I think is the stronger of the two. And it looks eerily similar to the one we got on his last Ultimate Edition, but it is slightly different. So here is the one. I think this one looks much more like Shawn. I think this one kind of misses the mark, but you have the mouth open, same shape, but they did change the hair. They have the little bang coming off the front right there. And then he has the fully braided ponytail instead of, you know, the this little ponytail braided on top of this loose hair down here, kind of like he wear, you know, he wore it later in his career. So I like this better. I like the, you know, the braided ponytail with the bang coming up in the middle. Or not the bang coming down the middle, the bang right here on the front. This is really nice. You also notice that he has earrings. Now, these do have Elite 91 Bianca Belair flair where you can literally remove these. Now, good God in heaven, be careful and be aware when you get this figure. If you have this figure, be careful when you are removing these earrings because I've dropped them multiple times and I didn't think I'd ever get them back. But just be weary of it, man. Be aware. Know what you're doing. Both head sculpts come with their own pair of earrings. You can remove them and, uh, you know, you can't just clasp them back in there. But look at that. I like how that's hidden behind the ear right there. It's not very noticeable unless you're looking for it. But this head sculpt looks nothing like Shawn Michaels. These earrings are also nicely sculpted. I like how you have the nice long chain, but you can easily lose these, so just be aware of it, man. Just That's all I can really say. This head sculpt sucks, in my opinion. I just don't really care for it. It's a weird face. It's a weird shape. I just think that it doesn't really capture Michaels. I think they should have just true effects the WrestleMania 14 head sculpt and then added a different hair mold to it or something like that, because I think the WrestleMania 30 Shawn Michaels figure that came in the same set as Bret Hart, I think that head sculpt is much better than this one, and I just don't, I don't really feel this one, you know what I mean? See that? The earring just fell out and I didn't even notice it. God, just goodness God, be aware. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of this head skull, man. I just don't see Sean in there. Or I see a likeness to Sean. I just do not like it. I much prefer the yelling one right here. Gets that younger Sean look. And then for interchangeable hands, you do have his fisted hands right here that do have the painted on zebra tape, which is nice. And they included red pegs, which makes it look a hell of a lot better. And outside of fist, you also get Mike holding hands with the same deal. Red pegs, zebra stripes painted on. These look really good and they look nice on the figure. So getting into the figure itself, starting out with the head sculpt, I put the one that I like the most on there, all right? I'm not one for screaming figures most of the time. I like a stern expression or a smirk or a, you know, anything like that, a determined face, but for this one, I'm riding with the yelling face. Now, going down into the torso, you guys will notice they changed the torso for Shawn Michaels, which, thank God, because this matches that era and that look of Shawn much more. He had much more muscle. He had a lot more muscle to his torso than what his last figure held. I love the chest hair. I love the stomach hair. I think this is really clean. You got your butterfly joints in there, which look good. I think that these arms still look a bit skinny with this torso, but it's not, like, horrific. You know, I think it still gets the job done, like, all complete encompassing right there. I, I like it a lot. We'll go over the articulation in a moment. You do have his tattoo right there. I feel like the tattoo could possibly slide over, or it looked like it was misprinted, but now that I'm looking at it, it actually looks good, so that's good. That's good stuff right there. You got your wrist tape on there. Still think one day we're gonna get to where this is all sculpted on here on the hands and on the arms. We'll have to see, but I love the red, white, and black. It looks really, really clean. I think it'd be cool. You know, back in the day, you guys can even see here on the packaging, Shawn Michaels used to tuck his, his tights, or he used to tuck his belly button like into the tights and that's something I'd like to see. Maybe they can make Shawn Michaels his own torso mold that's kind of shorter and you have the tights up a little bit more but then you get into like scaling issues. I don't know but you know you got to make it universal but it's not bad. I think this torso works better for what they were trying to go for instead of that skinny torso we got last time which we'll see in a comparison but tights look really good even though a lot of this was bedazzled most of the time. It's still not bad. I like the whole trunks there on the back. You got Heartbreak Kid. It is paint chipping which I'm gonna have to fix at some point because that really bothers me. It's pretty bad too like on the heart and the kid part gonna have to fix that a little bit up in there just a little white and black paint should be really simple to fix but it is there you also have your back hearts which look good then you have your great knee pads which a lot of Shawn Michaels figures usually don't have so that's nice to include that I hope that maybe we can get some more Shawns from this era that do have their knee pads on there with the pattern continued which I think looks great you also have your white kick pads here you do have your ultimate edition toe articulation so that's not new we've seen that before but the kick pads look good no logos on them or anything like that but I'm enjoying this figure. Now to get into the articulation right quick, this is just your standard ball joint right here, so it's no ball hinge. I'd really like to see a ball hinge make its way in here because they can't look up that far. They can look down decently. Arm out here can go above 90. You do get your full rotation, bicep swivel. You get a great butterfly joint right here, so you can like literally reach back like this right here and pose and do your freaking chest flies, which is really cool. You do get your double jointed arm, which is always nice. You can do a great flex pose, which is always synonymous with Shawn Michaels. You guys know that these ab crunches are like non-existent pretty much. The ab crunch on elites is a lot better than ultimates. Let's just 
say that. This bottom part does not, you know, do anything there. So you don't get a ton of rotation there. I really don't know what the next step is. Marvel Legends has figured it out for the most part, and so has Elites. I guess the next step is going to be combining an Elite Torso with Butterfly Joints, and I guess that's kind of where the stretches are coming from and where we can find that. But he is on ball joints, so he can kick far well. Double jointed knee, you do get the thigh rotation, you get the kick pad rotation, you do get ankle pivot, and you get toe, you know, little uh, toe articulation right there at the end. So that's very good. But I like this Sean a lot. I'm enjoying posing him around. I'm enjoying the feel in the hand. Really badass figure. I, I think he's going to compete with some of the best ultimates we've seen this year. Now for your Shawn Michaels Ultimate figure comparisons, here is the first edition right here from Series 4. Now, you won't notice like a ton of huge differences, but at the same time, they're pretty vast when you have them up next to each other, man. This new torso is extremely better. Like, oh my god, look how like, he looks like he's starving. You know what I'm saying? Like, he is so skinny over here, and this one looks a lot better with your muscle tone and stuff. The arms are the same size practically, but the they are pinless, so that's good. There's no butterfly joints. Legs are exactly the same, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, but the, the torso that they use here really creates a nice optical illusion, if you will, and makes this figure look so much better. I think this is a much better formula. I think if you wanted to, I mean, I don't want to be ridiculous, but maybe you could take these arms off, put these arms onto this torso, or like do a torso swap from this Sean over to this Sean. I think it'll make this figure look a million times better, man, and that, that's no mistake right there. Unless you just want to, you know, just paint these, put these hands over here and then paint, you know, this design over here, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's up to you, but yeah, I mean, th this figure is by far and away better than this one over here, and then I do want to look at what they look like in their gear. And here they are next to each other in their full getup, and again, man, look at the belts right here. Sculpted on, molded on, or, or clothed on, I guess it is, but this one is, is much superior. It really is, man. This one right here, just freaking, you know what I'm saying, to the chin, because this is, uh, yeah, this is very nice, and he can still articulate every single way he needs to in this right here, so that's pretty freaking sweet. I like that a lot, man. Good stuff right there. And for the rest of your Shawn Michael figure comparisons, here's two more Shawns we've gotten this year. This is our third slash fourth we'll get this year because we also have the Walmart exclusive Ruthless Aggression Shawn Michaels coming soon, which will be our third long pants Shawn just in 2022, which I have been pleading with Mattel for for years, and we finally get three in one year, and we could not be done. Who knows? But all these look great up next to each other. Always love expanding the Shawns. Beautiful looking stuff right here, man. Got your past, and then you got your future Shawns. That's, that's pretty damn beautiful, bro. But I think that pretty much wraps up our review of WWE Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover Shawn Michaels, man. Really enjoyed this figure a lot. I think I can say with a lot of confidence that I like this figure better than his first go-around. I think that they really did add a lot with this figure. Still not huge on the head sculpts, you know what I mean? I, I just feel like they never quite capture Shawn Michaels. I do like that they added the girth to the figure. I, you know, I think that Shawn Michaels had some musculature to him. I think that, you know, the butterfly joints are a nice addition. It is pinless joints. You know, I think this is an upgrade from his first Ultimate Edition. I love the first Ultimate Edition, right? I think it's a great figure as well, but this one does beat it out slightly. Now, it is, the, is it the best Shawn Michaels figure ever? I don't know. I, I think that's up to interpretation. I think that this is fresh and new and very nice, but I don't know. I, I don't know if I could tell you that straight off the cuff. I like it a lot, though. I really do. I think fully decked out in gear. He looks incredible. I think he poses around really well. You guys know how I feel about Ultimate Edition torsos. I feel like they could be much better. I'd really like to see them transition to the, you know, the AEW style of the ball joint torso and how it can really ab crunch, but Mattel's quality isn't insane, and I think that just equals out right here, and these Ultimate Edition figures are so great, man. I, I love this figure. I think it's fantastic. I think that it is something you should see seek out, especially if you're a big HBK guy. I love it. I think it really embodies that look of Shawn Michaels from 1995, man, so that, that's one of those things, but maybe we'll get some better head sculpts down the road that we can head swap or something, but I love the entrance gear overall. I think it's a banger, and I would cop it. Now, before we get out of here, we do have to get into a random shout-out, and for a random shout-out today, man, it's gonna go to this, and I, I do not know how to read that. I do apologize, but he said, hey, I am attending SDCC this year with my brother, mom, and cousin. I could get you two for your Mock and Loose collection if you're interested. If not, hope you get it, man. And that is just the nicest thing I've ever read. Nah, seriously though, huge shout out to bro right here, man. If that's possible, you can DM me on Instagram or, or something like that if we could set that up, but if we can make that happen in any way, I'm, I'm absolutely down to pay you for your troubles or trade or whatever the case is, man. I would greatly appreciate it, man. I, just anybody who checks out the channel, I appreciate you guys so very much, man. You are unbelievable 
unbelievable. And I love you so much, man. Huge shout out to this guy. I wish I knew his name and I wish I could read that. I really, really do. I even went to the channel. I could not figure out what his name is. But I hope he watches this video and that he can see that he got the random shout out and that he will get back with me. That would be incredible. But huge shout out to bro. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. I think we're going to have some SDCC predictions and some crazy stuff going on, man, because I got to tell you, bro, the things that I've seen on the horizon for SDCC or like the little sneak peeks I've seen are blowing my freaking mind. And that, that means that Mattel, well... You crossed the line.